the that's that's just how I Can you, uh, can you say the slides? Yes. Okay, let's, let's uh, begin. Uh, hello, everyone. The, my talk is uh, Corolla Science and Anatomy and Capitalization. Uh, in the past decade, most of the cases, uh, now you know, I mainly perform uh, Electrophysical pro, uh, EP procedures with the flow, uh, flow scoping. Okay, so uh, uh, if we want to very uh, proficient in this field in uh, in per, uh, performing the procedure with a flow scoping, we need to uh, load anatomy anatomy very clear. Uh, and the contents mainly uh, compose the several problems. Uh, Anatomy structure of corolla sinus, valve system around the corolla sinus, morphology variation of corolla sinus, our complicated situation. Uh, then, uh, then corolla sinus austere artificial with arrhythmia. Uh, usually, uh, uh, corolla sinus cannulation is very important in EP procedure and uh, cardiac device implantation. You know. Uh, because corolla sinus is uh, behind the left atrium and uh, inferior to the uh, uh, left atrium. So it is how uh, it's very helpful locate the exact pathway and sometimes it also lead to um, place the electrode for, in, uh, for pacing uh, in uh, corolla, uh, the CRT collective with synchronizing therapy um, anyway, we know uh, usually if we uh, look the uh, heart in left uh, posture, oblique view, you can see uh, right right atrium is like clock in the in your uh, left hand, and left atrium is uh, like the clock, like this, and the corolla sinus just uh, around the border. Uh, the margin between the left ventricle and the left ventricle. And if you see here, sometimes uh, we also, uh, in China, many, many AP, uh, AP doctors may use uh, corosinus as the landmark for a uh, transept puncture. You can see here, if they see this all the face, and uh, you, know, uh, you can see the corosinus and uh, the great cardiac uh, like uh, uh, like an arm uh, uh, hold the, the left atrium. So just uh, usually if the, we can locate the uh, puncture site, usually we, uh, we just uh, first place the catheter in the coral sinus and we see this usually we uh, locate uh, and in cordocranial direction really uh, for if it's in uh, one o'clock, maybe it is too high, maybe three o'clock or four o'clock, just the, like this, you, if you look, look at the coral sinus and in the three o'clock or four o'clock, and at this level is the best level for puncture site, just the, in the uh, midterm and a little lower than, than the midterm in it. And also you can see if, we, we don't we don't want to puncture in the coral sinus. We need to uh, say the in right atrial, uh, right anterior oblique view, and this is the B is B point is the orifice of coral sinus. Uh, we need to puncture at this part, and the they say uh, A is uh, and maybe uh, D is the aorta and SBC uh, the junction. So we need to uh, posture to the or face, so it's very important for AP procedure. Um, uh, besides, besides locate, locating the pathway, uh, the, the access pathway also is a very important landmark for uh, locating the optimal puncture site for uh, for accessing the left atrium. And also in, in China, recently as many EP procedures performed the transept puncture without proscopy. Uh, in this situation, we can say uh, the level in, in 
for the cranial direction, uh, usually it's at three o'clock parallel. Uh, I, three o'clock, uh, you can see this is closer if we uh, reconstruct the model and maybe uh, three o'clock or, or three, uh, three, eight, uh, 15 uh, or three to four o'clock at this level, maybe it's the, just the uh, stand for the uh, almost the deposition uh, medium and a little lower is the best site. And if you want to perform a CRT sometime, or if you're using a monopolar wire, uh, if you place a monopolar wire into the core size, the color, great color wing and the post natural wing, we can map which is uh, where is the latest uh, activation point. We uh, also can perform with less uh, flux uh, exposure and all sometimes uh, absolutely without cross fluoroscopy. And any, however, you routinely the cross sinus electrode is placed uh, where the jugular wing or maybe sub wing, but in recent almost decades, uh, in the past five to 10 years in our center, uh, almost all of the cases, 90 to 95% of the cases, we just place the curl size character wire in you know, a uh, simmer ring. Uh, because, uh, in, uh, you know, uh, wherever, wherever you are, wherever if a proficient in uh, puncture, but uh, even you are very proficient in puncture the sub uh, sub wing and jug wing. Maybe one person to or two person of them, you will have a lumerflex or hemorflex. So this is dangerous. If the case is either three thousands or five thousands EP percent each year, you will uh, you will incur many cases of lumerflex or hemorflex. So in recent five to eight years, all of the case we EP procedure in our center we place the capture via a uh, femur ring. Here uh, we can say uh, femur ring is uh, you know approach is the access to group femur ring and placed when in this way you can say uh, we just push the capture at once the uh, femur ring and then to the uh, Infer ring the keyword and then uh, into right facing like this. And this is pro uh, the, le the left, uh, the right side is, you know, uh, is the right side of the electrode is placed while the subcular wing or jugular wing and in this way. Uh, uh, then next, uh, next part we'll talk about the related anatomy about curious sinus. However, you know, in medication, um, we can't uh, place the character into a color size very, uh, very easy. Some, because sometimes you can say, uh, you can carry, carry network unit. It is origin from the use tech watch, and it's uh, from the it's very close to the improving keyword. And we can we can see this network uh, about two percent of the patients will have this. Key areas network is sometimes very difficult because the capital is trapped into the network. Sometimes you use uh, maybe a blinking capital, or sometimes curl size capital. You, you, if you rotate and if you're trapped into the network, and sometimes it's very difficult. Maybe the network will uh, hammer your capital resolution. However, this is just one or two percent of patients have this key areas network. Uh, also, we can see here the key areas network uh, is is very close uh, to the you 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 ER you stretch here and uh, and if we look at the how coracosome is uh, extend to uh, the the posterior uh, posterior and maybe lateral part of the atrium and ventricle. Uh, and it's uh, become a great cardiac wing and left the main wing like this post wing uh, into ventricular wing. Uh, okay, uh, you in the 
in the our face, uh, we can see also another obstacle for capitalization, the Debisher Vive. Uh, Coruscant Vive, you, we call it Debisher Vive, use um, some of them is remnant of just a smaller part like crescent shape here. It's very small, but in some cases it's uh, a little bigger, like a semi lunar here, you can say the Coruscant may be a a little more, uh, a little more difficult. In this case, in this again, it's a little more difficult for you to place cap into the Coruscant. But uh, in some cases, almost uh, the the bishop valve is fold like this situation. And also the fall, uh, the false type of the is just called. But in this this time, in this again, in this situation, it's not very difficult. But Phoenix that are straightened in this game, maybe sometimes the capture will uh, entrap it in the network and also it's a difficult. And sometimes it's mesh uh, like this type. But uh, in maybe uh, in your career, maybe one or two years, if you perform uh, 500 or uh, maybe some sometimes you can encounter this situation. It's very difficult. You can even can't place the capital. Maybe in the past uh, ten years, I'm I have performed maybe ten nearly ten thousand cases. One or two of them uh, cannot place the capital. Even you perform uh, angiography, you can place the capital very easily into the coral sinus because in uh, maybe in this like this situation. But if we uh, uh, another, another barriers is another uh, difficulties uh, like this something or in this another published paper or we another published paper or can we can also say, uh, the uh, the bishop with like this the bridging wave and finished tragic wave and it's sometimes small very small uh, or face. Uh, this another published. Uh, also, in the hour published paper uh, showed us the bishop's wife like this. Uh, so in some cases, you can't even you tried, uh, you take many times. Uh, it is difficult to place the cavity inside the corona sciences. However, uh, after you cross the oral face, you, you uh, push the cavity uh, into the corona sinus. But if you want to advance more, it is sometimes here you still have difficulty are many difficulties uh, because there's a Venice valve here, usually about uh, near the great particle ring uh, like this. So uh, sometimes you can also met not, I mean, not very, very not Venice's valves. It, in this case, you cannot put uh, advanced care to very uh, smoothly. Uh, the next part we need to know uh, CS is uh, uh, in you can say we can say inter intra muscle connections like this. You can say uh, from the posterior uh, to a anterior view, we can see the coronas and many myocardial branches just uh, over the coronas in the posterior wall. This is uh, epicardial maybe collections. Uh, we also can can say. Uh, coral science usually is collected. This is the, the right atrium and this is left atrium. We can see the muscle. Uh, this is the muscle just uh, left atrial wall. And, it, and then, then uh, there's fight uh, besides. And the coral science, we also can say uh, the, it can be asterisk, uh, stand for some myocardium. And here the collection well, there's many uh, mountain, large mountain myocardium we collect the left atrial and the corona sinus myocardium. So uh, also we can say sometimes also there's variance of CS to left atrial muscle collection. Sometimes we can't say, we can say it's uh, separated by fight. There's no, uh, Collection between the left atrium and cardio, uh, myocardial and myocardium and the right atrium. Here we can say uh, 
the CS and in the, in this case, we can see fight is uh, separated with the CS and the natural each terms. Also, uh, you can see the myocardial collected uh, from the chronic sinus like this. Uh, you can see the cardiac thing and here the muscle collect the process and over the sinus and collect to the nephew atrium. Uh, also, you can see on the published paper, because of this, it sometimes it's difficult because the, uh, the example of like an accept pathway collect to do the through science and in epic, maybe the time you can say uh, like this, uh, there are many parts of the potential stand for different tissue. And also some mm, we need to know coral science very, uh, very, very uh, in among patients, some is very short, big, uh, just less than two centimeters. You can see uh, this is very short and sometimes a very long cross size scraping in five, five centimeters. And it, sometimes uh, like this wind shock, uh, wind shock, sometimes like this free form and very, very thin. And sometimes it's atriatic. So, and um, also some in some in some phallus a trilogy of phallus phallus uh, procedures you can see there split to the current size the COS1 is to the right atrium and CS2 is from the left atrium and uh, you if you say uh, even even the diverticular is, uh, is very complex. You can see sometimes like this uh, balloon, sometimes it's uh, have many branches and big diverticular. Uh, so if you want to map in the, the subway, sometimes maybe uh, eight, even atria tachycardia, sometimes it's already from this place, you need to perform angiography. In sometimes you, you can uh, encounter the uh, unroofed cross Sometimes the, the cross side ostium is open to the right atrium. Sometimes it's open. Uh, the, the roof is, you can say, is collected to the left atrium like this. Uh, and in this, uh, also we need to know the muscle, uh, ligamental muscle is uh, collected to the coronal sinus. Usually, uh, this is the endocardium and the fight and the li li ligamental muscle. Uh, so LAM stands for the ligamental muscle like this. And uh, in many cases, if we want to want to make ablation. Along the metro, you know, metro, um, metro, uh, you know, it, uh, just uh, uh, you know, uh, sometimes uh, fl atrial fat or atrial in some uh, atrial fibrillation uh, after ablation, we met the uh, we lead to ablation metro wall along the isthmus here, but uh, you you need to know uh, if we want a. Uh, if you want to ablation, make a ablation uh, inside the coral sinus, sometimes uh, this will damage it, may, uh, make damage to the left circumflex. You can see in this case, if this coral sinus is over, uh, over the LCX left circumflex artery. So if you perform a bird ablation procedure inside the coral sinus, in this case, maybe you can uh, damage the LCX artery, so maybe uh, some in, you you can in some reports and in, in the the patients uh, have a cardiac arrest and uh, and my myocardial infarction after the procedure, so uh, it's in some cases it's dangerous, but in most of the cases maybe they don't overlap. This is the LCX. This is coronal science. They don't overlap. Uh, you know, you can perform the coronary ablation uh, very uh, most safely. Just you need to perform a point capital toward the left atrium. But in this, this uh, 
this can is dangerous. If you uh, direct the catheter towards the nerve fissure, you will damage the LCX. Uh, furthermore, we can see sometimes the LCX will in extend a very long, uh, also it's inside the corrosive sinus decrease. So if, if you perform ablation inside the corrosive, if you direct cap, uh, direct the cap the, towards the nerve, also in this skin, it's, it's dangerous. But in this skin, we, uh, we don't uh, fear about because uh, LCX is in the ventricle. Uh, it's on the ventricle, but the, the most of the part of the corrosive is just along the left atrium. So there are many anatomy variations. Uh, also, uh, sometimes inferior in ventricular does much uh, variation like this. Some is very big and some are small. Uh, sometimes we can also can some aneurysm like this. This is the uh, should um, uh, lig ligament or muscle uh, like this. And great cartilage sometimes it's not here, and you can see uh, the LC, uh, the great cartilage very long, and here almost close to the LAD and the triangle here. Uh, sometimes the grid cutaway is small, uh, is not very long. Here is very long. Uh, then the time I think is needed. I, I just want to uh, talk about the capillaration, mainly on uh, mainly on femoral vein approach. Uh, why we do uh, femoral vein approach in recent almost eight years, almost nearly ten percent of all nearly. Almost 100 percent. Most, almost almost all of them, all of the procedure we just uh, perform, uh, capillaration into the sinus, corrosive sinus via femoral vein. First, we can reduce flux, flux exposure. Second, we, we can reduce complications such as pneumothorax and hemothorax. And uh, uh, I think it's more uh, efficient. Because at first, if you place the catheter well, femur ring here, the, uh, you know, the staff just stand here and it's far away from the, you know, X-ray source. But if you're from juggling a subclavian, ring, it's very close to the X-ray source and you can, you know, the lead shield can protect you. So, it, and if you want, in this slide, I just want to show you, we, we Place the catheter without frosting in, ca uh, in cut, cut system like this. Uh, just the unit first system, we just advance the catheter uh, through the inferior vein keyword and the, into the right atrium. And the half of the, the t you know, the tip of the catheter, we just uh, reach almost the, the peak of tricuspid wall or almost parallel to his. Is bandle like this, and then uh, make a <coughs> flex. The first, and then toward you, uh, almost twelve o'clock, and then at this level, then make a flex, and then, then rotate, uh, rotate uh, clockwise rotation. Then we find the or uh, the orifice, and then uh, re relax the curl and at once, and then like this. Uh, this is. This capture is placed without fluoroscopy. Uh, this is uh, our book uh, published in, uh, in two years uh, two years ago by Springer. Uh, first in the publishing house, we uh, we, we perform this. This is uh, we, with inside inside system. Just five seconds, we can place the capture without fluoroscopy. Like this, first the capture is at uh, once, and then. At the level of the, uh, you know, uh, uh, his bundle like this, and then for second stem just to make curl, uh, then rotate uh, clockwise, and then uh, uh, relax the character just at once. Usually five to six seconds, we can place the close side as character without uh, flowers. Uh, this is uh, uh, this slide is uh, provided by another procedure. This is. This capture is 
uh, place the wire fluoroscope, you can see here. Uh, first, we just uh, advanced capture the tip is almost paralyzed with the peak of tricuspid revolve, and then so have a uh, uh, we did flex capture like this, and then second step is rotate clockwise and find the left left anterior optic view the tip of the capsule find the outer face and then uh, we relax the capsule and at once just like this okay. rotate and then, okay. uh, then uh, uh, this capsule is a movie but it cannot work out so usually if, uh, sometimes if uh, if you met uh, you if you meet if you find uh, uh, that it's difficult Sometimes maybe you are in this branch, uh, but uh, without the angiography, we don't know where the capsule it is. Where where's the tip of the capsule stone is? And sometimes if you, uh, it's hard to advance the uh, capsule to the distal part of the proscience. We need to withdraw to the outer face and try again. Maybe uh, in an hour pathway we can extend it. So uh, sometimes. Uh, if you uh, think it's difficult to advance the capsule to the distal part, maybe we need to withdraw and try again, just withdraw and try again some uh, with, with a, a little different dif direction, maybe we can overcome this obstacle. Uh, okay, uh, uh, just to tell you about this, um, I think the time is, go on, next speaker should be, you know, uh, should we, you know, should that Professor Silver, he, uh, okay. she will give a case. You know, uh, Professor uh, Silver is uh, from uh, a very experienced professor, if you doctor, especially in cardiac electrophysiology. Uh, she, she mainly uh, performed cardiac ablation, uh, cryo ablation. So uh, that's a stretch our case, Silver. Yes, thank you, Professor Wang, for your introduction. It's a pleasure to be here with you. And I just brought a case, uh, a, a case that we did with uh, the, a new CS catheter that was very good, and we liked it very much, it was very easy to position. In this case, we entered through the jugular vein. Well, let's go on. Uh, I'm gonna share here, let me see how, uh, uh -oh. I'm not, uh -uh. here. The case is a female patient, 35 years old, she had a history of tachycardia episodes since 2010. No comorbidities. She had a previous, she, when she came to our group, she had previous right-sided atrial tachycardia ablation in 2011. And there was a report from the, in her, in her report that she has a difficult CS, but we didn't find it difficult to cast. She had in the test, ergometric test, F4 test, she induced the tachycardia with a left bundle branch morphology with a rate of 185 beats per minute and another, in another tachycardia with an hour PORS with 234 beats per minute. This was her basic EKG. Nothing important in this base, sinus rhythm, normal EKG. Here, uh, during the study, the normal EKG, the activation from the sinus rhythm, everything. And you can see she had this ectopy here, and the activation was probably coming from the left side. And here, we induced the tachycardia here in the induction, the ecosystem, you can see that the precocity was in the left side. Here is our tachycardia when we induced it 
we have AV, AV, and then the A. The sequence activation changes V, A, and V, A here. And here you can observe that there is a morbid swan during tachycardia. Second degree AV block, morbid swan, AV a distance, a longer distance, and then here, here this A blocks. The EKG during tachycardia, we can observe this difference, this irregularity, probably due to the second degree AV block. Here again, AV, a longer AV in the A block. During the tachycardia, A interval was always the same. When we map the tachycardia, we can see that the, the earliest A is in the left side, and there was equidistance from the CS5 and 1. Was in the CS, we could see it where the tachycardia would come from some space and with the same distance with, between them. Here again, the tachycardia, this was in movement, but it's not, I see that. It's not running, so never mind. So we decided to map from the left side. We did our transceptor uh, approach to the left side. Okay. The tachycardia now, here is the same tachycardia without the AV block going one AV one to one. Here one-to-one one without the block. And here, again, you can see it comes one-to-one one and then it blocks and the AA interval keeps the same. Here is just the mapping from the, the precursor to the ablation where we the point where we had the earliest A and this point was near the left atrial appendix. Here is the point where the map showed the initiation of the tachycardia. And you can also observe the CS catheter here coming from the jugular vein and entering the CS. During radio frequency applied at that point, we can see the tachycardia slowing until it stops. Here's the site of application, CS here, here near, the a left atrial appendage was the earliest site. Here, during radio frequency and movement, you can see it was fast, and then it starts getting slower, slower. It's going to get slower until some ectopy, and then it starts in sinus rhythm. Here it comes to sinus rhythm. And here is the AKG after ablation. She was in um, sinus rhythm with no more tachycardia. Thank you for your attention. Very good. Uh, so uh, you place catheter is the hollow catheter, right? Uh, no, uh, H1 to H10. Uh, yes. It was so, a duodecar. Uh, but I had uh, uh, a yes. child holder. Yeah, so uh, I, I could can... see the right atrial also. I met the good. right atrial in the beginning. H1 is the earliest in, in the sequence. In the sequence. Yes. So uh, do you have question, Professor Lin Weidong, uh, Lin Weidong Lin, do you have any question about this case? Um, Professor Sylvia, do you have the radiograph of the um, target site? If I have what? Sorry, I'm. The radiograph. Hear... The radio. Ripple. Ripple. You mean oh. ripple or. X ray image, you mean? Yes, yes, yes. X ray. No, I did. I didn't put it here. Uh, no, sorry, I can't show you, but I, I can send it. You want to see how it was in the left atrium? Yeah, I should have yeah, put yeah. this image. Sorry, I'm sorry for that. Yeah, okay. It would be good to show you. I don't have the image. 
I thought it was interesting because she had a previous ablation. They did not have the CS catheter in place. They ablated the right sided. And then when it came to me, it was a left sided. So I just thought it would be interesting to show that sometimes you map without the CS and you just go to the wrong side. <laughs> you need the CS in the beginning of cases. It's a very important bit when we have the CS. So it was not, it came as a right-sided atrial tachycardia and it was not at right-sided and we could see it with the CS catheter before we mapped it. So we so, just crossed it and it was faster when we have CS uh, even with 3D mapping. Can you say, and, can you say the clear P wave in the ECG? Uh, is the P wave is very clear? In the ECG. Yes, you want to see it again? I, I mean, Wait. can you uh, say the P wave very clearly in the ECG? Like a, uh, electrocardiography? Yes, let me see if it was so clear. I, I didn't see it so clear because it was very fast. Yes, so I, I, didn't, I wasn't sure. So that's why I always enter with all the catheters in the beginning. I like to have the CS also. For me, it's, I don't like to map with only with the other degree or I need the, the CS catheter. For because me. it's very fast. Uh, I think maybe it's hard to say a clear P wave in the ECG. Yes, uh, it is. But, uh, it's not easy to see when the tachycardia yeah. is very fast. And as you maybe uh, you inject some adenosine, maybe sometimes we can say the yeah. P wave. Yes, yeah. yeah. and it gets easier when you have the tachycardia slow. You 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 see the P wave in the middle of the PF PRS. You can have a clue, but when it's fast, sometimes we can't. It, so it's a focal. You you mean uh, it's yes, a focal it's origin. A Yes, uh, in some okay. cases, if you can see the P wave very clear, but uh, it, but we all of a sudden perform this, uh, we can get, uh, inject uh, inject some adenosine maybe or make a, a message yeah. uh, here carotid sinus and uh, here post carotid sinus here maybe make the the no, uh, win winner here you now yeah. uh, the, the yes maybe yes, we it's can good. Say the, yeah make but a message so here yeah. But it was so yeah. easy in this, in the CS yes. show, it's so easy that it was at the left yeah. side and not at the right side, like before. So we didn't do all the regular maneuvers. We Very went good. Directly. Thank Very you. Good. Thank you. And, and then thank next, you. the next speaker uh, should uh, Professor uh, uh, Lin, uh, we call it Lin Weidong, but in English we call it Weidong Lin. He, he is a, a very experienced AP procedure in the very excellent center in China. Maybe in, in uh, his center, maybe uh, over, I think over 4,000 cases, AP procedure each year. Uh, so uh, he's very, very silent uh, AP procedures in China, I think. Uh, so, and then also he will give a kiss. And then that's that. Uh, welcome, Lin, Professor Lin. Thank you. Thank you, Professor Wang. And thank you. Hello, Sylvia. And Hello. Yeah, we can see the slides. OK. Today, I'd like to share two cases. Um, in these two cases, we can also find some um, interesting um, phenomena in these two cases. And in these two cases are all uh, a typical facial fracture. Uh, the first one is a 56-year-old man. He had a recurrence per patient for over 10 years. And the ECG showed uh, he had the atrial fibrillation and atrial fracture. Uh, the UCG and DE uh, final uh, structural heart disease. So um, first, we can see the uh, atrial fracture pattern, and we can see in two, three, and APL the P wave 
was positive. And in AVL, the p wave was negative. And we also uh, think it is tachycardia that um, seems alive from the left atrium. So we do the PVI and do the loop light operation first. Because in our uh, hospital, we also for persistent atrial fibrillation, we use always be, uh, the program was uh, PV isolation and the uh, loop line operation and mitral amulus isthmus operation in left side atrial. But uh, we can also see the cyclorex. And there, this is the catheter of the um, corner sinus catheter. We can see the corner sinus catheter. The activation is from the distal to the proximal. And it also seems that it comes from the left atrium, tachycardia. So we using the cartel mapping um, in left atrium after the ablation of the PVI and loop ablation, loop light ablation, we can see the activation of the left atrium. Uh, it seems that the earliest sign of the activation is from the base of left atrial appendage right here. And we cannot uh, get the full cycle activation in the left atrium. So is it a focal activation? Mm, at that time, we try to ablation here in the early side. Uh, but however, the tachycardia doesn't terminate. And it came longer, the cycle length, uh, from 220 milliseconds uh, to 260 milliseconds. So we do the remap of the left atrium. So we can see the, the P wave uh, after operation, the positive uh, and the, the P wave is more not so sharp during the first tachycardia, you can see, uh, but uh, we can see, oh, is this the fracture, the fracture wave? Mm, we do not know, but mm, we have to do the remap of the left atrium. Uh, just re uh, during the remap of the left atrium, we can see the earliest activation of the left atrium is up above uh, near the left uh, superior covering of the roof. And here on the near the left atrium appendage. But Mm, it's very, very, very strange that uh, it seems like it's an atrial fracture, but the, the activation, we cannot uh, map the full cycle length. As I said, the total cycle length is 260 milliseconds, but the total activation cycle length in left Asian, we only get about 175 milliseconds. So it's another focal activation. We do not know, but we try to break here. We try to break here. The tachycardia didn't terminate, didn't terminate. And the cycle didn't change it at all. So what's the problem and what's the mechanism of this kind of uh, tachycardia? At that time, we also see that the, the corner sinus catheter as a little bit pull out. So we put it in the standard position. During operation, uh, this is the corner sinus before, and then the corner sinus after we uh, reposition of the corner sinus catheter. But uh, we can see the corner sinus catheter of the activation is from the proximal to the distal from the proximal to the distal, that means the activation may be from here to here. However, and then we try to do the entrapment of the corner sinus and the proximal corner sinus catheter and the distal corner sinus catheter to make the entrapment. And we can see uh, during the distal corner sinus catheter entrapment, the uh, 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 post-pacing interval, a minus 
minus the second rest was about um, 60 milliseconds. It means it is maybe a fraction. Uh, and then we also make the corner sinus a proximal catheter uh, in treatment. It also is a very good PPI plus uh, minus the uh, cycle rates. So what's the mechanism of this tachycardia? It seems that during the entry in treatment, we also uh, know that the, it is a re-entry mechanism, but uh, that is the lack of activation of this late atrium. Uh, what is the about uh, the uh, 75 milliseconds left? So we find and uh, we think that the, 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 the mechanism is, uh, it is a minor mitral in, inverse uh, re-entry tachycardia, but, but the miss of the, the cycle lens is the miss of the activation is from the little muscle. We cannot uh, map in the little muscle, but we try to abrade. So we try to abrade here about uh, the opening side of the little muscle, the vein of muscle. It's the epicardial of the. We try to abrade at the epitaxial side of the corner sinus. And then, mm, I'm sorry, the video cannot play. Uh, just the, the, the tachycardia start, a uh, terminate during the uh, operation at the epicardial side of the corner sinus. Uh, the, the video cannot uh, uh, play, so... Do so, you mean, you, okay. Uh, you mean you ablate uh, the ligament of muscle here? Yes, yes. Uh, it seems like the opening side of the little muscle. Uh, I think uh, during operation, the, the atrial fracture terminal. So it is a um, very interesting phenomenon that the, this kind of atrial uh, tachycardia, we can see there is a vocal pattern uh, activation, but we can break here during the cat uh, and then terminate the atrial tachycardia. So what is the definite uh, mechanism? And then we, we meet the second case. Uh, and the second case, we can see that there is a 65 year old female and her recurrence per person for three years. Uh, she had the AFU preparation operation last year, and we also using the, the PPI and roof line and mitral influence of the uh, anterior line. So uh, the, the EKG shows the it is atrial fracture. So we can also see the positive wave of the two, three, and ABF lead and the V1 lead. We also see that it is an uh, atrial fracture or atrial tachycardia from the left atrium. So we also see the cycle length. The cycle length is about uh, 266 milliseconds. And the activation of the corner sinus is from the proximal to the distal, from proximal to distal. And we also do the left atrium mapping. And just like the previous case, it is the early side is about the loop of the left atrial and um, then the left posterior, uh, left posterior uh, pulmonary ring uh, uh, near the left atrial appendage. You can see the early side is here. And also we uh, map at the corner sinus. We also, but however, during the mapping of the corner sinus, and the left atrium, we also cannot uh, map the full cycle lens. We can see that the totally left atrial activation time is about 185 milliseconds. 
but the total, uh, the cycle length is about 266 milliseconds. There is about 80 milliseconds lost. So where is the uh, activation? We also do the whole uh, epicardial mapping on about uh, the, the right atrium, the left atrium, the corner sinus, and the pulmonary artery. But we can see that the early sign is about here at the ridge of the FHOA, left atrial appendage. It seems that it also may be a vocal activation. We do not know, but we have to do some in treatment about this kind of uh, tachycardia. So we do the, um, make the in-treatment programs. Um, and here we can see uh, the post pacing interval minus the cycle length was very good. And then here is just so so, not so good, about 24 milliseconds. And here is very good about four milliseconds here, very good, four milliseconds. That means it may be a re-entry at tachycardia around the micro inerts. And then the activation is from uh, here to here. And we do the uh, in treatment on the ridge of the left atrial uh, about the um, left atrial appendage. But we can see the Post interval in treatment, uh, in, uh, post uh, post post a uh, pacing interval uh, minus the cycle rate was not good. About forty four milliseconds here in the endo side of the ridge, endocardial. And we also in the posterior wall, and um, about the bottom of the left atrium, we made the in treatment here. It's very good, about four milliseconds. Here, it's not good, about 34 milliseconds. So we can also do the uh, instrument about the corner sinus in the epicardial mapping. Um, we can see the instrument of here at the proximal um, corner sinus is very good, about four milliseconds. However, in the distal, uh, around the GCV, um, the proximal of the GCV, we can see that the, the entrainment is not good, about uh, 75 milliseconds. So we can see that all the uh, re-entry activation is from here and go down from the anterior wall um, to of the left atrial, uh, and then around the mitral universe, and then have something activation from here to here, but it's not from the endocardial because we we have the entrainment at the endocardial is not good, so it must be the ventral muscle. Only the ventral muscle can explain um, this kind of phenomena because we lack of about uh, 70 milliseconds of activation and we, we, we also uh, cannot do the entrainment very good in the endocardio here. So we try to do the uh, ventral muscle astral infusion. And we use the L1 catheter and then using the OTW uh, balloon and make sure there is no leakage of the, mm, the, 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 the in, in radiograph. And we then make the external infusion. During the external infusion, we can see the cycle rate was uh, being slower and then terminate. So 
in these two cases, we want to um, say that with, if the atrial fracture in left atrial, um, sometimes it may be the focal activation pattern because we cannot map it in the ventral muscle. So we, we, we do not, uh, we have to do not have the, the activation time of the ventral muscle in lack of sometimes about uh, 70 or 80 milliseconds of the activation of uh, you have to pay attention. If there are any uh, possibilities of the ventral muscle involved in this type of head, uh, atrial tachycardia. So in this time, we have to do some instrument and the instrument it was useful for judging the mechanism of this kind of tachycardia. And uh, also we can do the, have to do the uh, ventral muscle operation uh, by uh, not only by catheter operation, but also by insular infusion can always stop this kind of um, tachycardia. Okay, thanks all, thank you. Okay, very good. Uh, Yomi, is, uh, according to your opinion, you, you think these two, uh, two cases, almost all of them is uh, already, is uh, 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 re-entry uh, involved yes. in venal muscle. Yes, with the okay. uh, ventral muscle involved. Very good. Uh, at first, you 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 after a mapping activation mapping, you think as a focal origin, but after entrainment, you think it's good around the, the window of Marshall. So you think maybe because epicardial part of the activation, you can't uh, you can't map in the action map code, right? Yeah. So very good. Uh, it's just. Uh, just now, I, I will, I'm thinking, uh, I didn't, uh, I have never uh, met in kind of this case, but uh, as you, uh, according to your opinion, I think it's very good. Uh, it's how first, if you think it's a focal, because you know some part of the cycle length in the yes. active map, but yes. after in treatment, this is uh, maybe two or three sides uh, maybe it also is good. It should be a uh, re-entry, right? Yes. So yeah. in this this uh, situation, we need to think about whether some epicardial place we can't map in. Yeah. Yeah. So it, it's a good idea. Uh, so we even we can't mark uh, use. Uh, we need to a special character, maybe very thin and small. Uh, electrode to map in the window of measure. Sometimes even you have it, you can't map because you, you can entrap the catheter into the orifice or some venous cap. Uh, it's difficult. Maybe sometimes even you have the catheter, you know, uh, maybe just in Japan or in America, some very small, uh, uh, a few of them have this special catheter. You, you can use the catheter very yes. like, a fit, like a fried, you can you insert have, yeah. into the wing. Yes, it's very it's expensive and can't get very easily. So uh, your your approach, I think, is helpful. At least we can uh, think about it. Uh, uh, finally, the results is good. You, if any or infusion, uh, stop terminate the cardio, take cardio. But sometimes we we need to know is it. Uh, very exactly is the uh, or is the window of fashion. Just we can, can uh, by a reason or by by this uh, so by conclude or we can uh, deduce this is already uh, this take out is already from the window of Marshall. Uh, it's a good case also I think. Uh, okay. Uh, Professor, do you have any question about this case? These yes, two cases? First, first, I would like to congratulate Dr. Professor Ling. The cases are very difficult and very interesting. And uh, I would think I would stay mapping that focal and trying to burn it for hours before I would think after you, you gave me a good teaching today. And oh. just want to know 
what's the clue to think about it? Because I was sure it was focal. And then what made you the clue? The cycle made you think it wasn't, or the mapping that was circular, what made you think, no, this is not focal? It was the cycle longer or the mapping circular? Because I never saw the early, mid, late site, right? It wasn't visible. So how did you have the clue? No, this is not the focal. It was, what's the first thing the, that you decided to do in training? Why? You thought about something. This is wrong. What was the thing you thought? What made you think it was not focal? Because mm. it <laughs> didn't um, terminate, right? Uh, what? First of all, uh, let me share the screen. Uh, I think Sarah, Professor Sarah, wants to ask you, why do you think it's not a focal? Uh, from the issue, I think it's just like the factor pattern here. Mm -hmm. You can see? Yes. And then, and, and the second is uh, when we uh, mapping at the design around the reach of the left edge of appendage, uh, always. Uh, actually, we have um, a place about four or six cases of this kind of just like focal activation pattern. And we, we always find that when we apply here, the, the early side change and it mm. can change to here. Okay. And then when you apply here, sometimes it always change to another way, uh, another side around, around about the left atrial appendage. That is okay. why because the little muscle, uh, the anatomy of the little muscle is mm -hmm. uh, so many uh, branch, so Great. many branch, so many branch around the left atrial appendage. So okay. you apply here, the, the activation uh, went through another branch and then the early sign is here. Okay. And change to here. So uh, if you see this kind of phenomenon, it's always uh, remember that uh, there's a one easy procedure th that is do the entrainment of the corner sinus. If Thank it you. is a, a minor an annulus re-entry catechardia, uh, the corner sinus entrainment is a very good uh, diagnosis, uh, 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 diagnosis. Uh, can help you to find out the mechanism about this kind of tachycardia. When you apply, just like focal activation here, and you change to here, okay. and then you put here, it changed to another place, but the early sign is all around about the left edge appendage. You have okay. to remember that. that Thank you. Thank you. Change. Very good. Thank you. I learned a lot. I think I'll change my approach now. Thank you very much. Great case. Thank so, you. Uh, I think uh, Professor Sewell, uh, it's a it's a very good question. But uh, uh, if in some cases, but you can't perform, you can't perform in treatment like this. Sometimes you, you terminate, and you can't induce the articular. So uh, sometimes in treatment can can help you find. The, uh, can help you find, uh, can help you to find a, it's a re-entry, but sometimes intravenous terminate. You can't do any more. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then in this case, yeah. you need to uh, think about. Uh, also, need to think. Uh, just uh, uh, Professor Ning want to uh, show us maybe if you make a break here, the early start change around here, right? Just yes. in this region, but the early society change, you need to think about re entry, the exit changes later, right? Yes. Okay, Thank very you. good. Very good. Yeah. Sometimes make an treatment, it is terminated. It, uh, it's very hard to induce. Uh, yeah. In this time, you, yeah. you want to prove it's difficult. Yeah. Maybe just you need to think about whether it is uh, avocado uh, collected by the winner of Marshall. Uh, if you ablate it, it doesn't affect uh, effect and the earliest 
activation, uh, the early stage of activation change a little, maybe it's like this, just uh, you need to. Uh, Thank you. Yes. We, yes. If we don't know what we are looking for, we cannot find it. We have to think that the possibility exists. Yes. This, this, is, is, this is experience help you. <laughs> yeah. Yes. This is, I never had, I yeah. have to look for it now. Very then, good. Uh, Very anyone good. have question online? I, I don't know. If anyone does, if that is there anyone online have any question about the cases uh, presented by Professor or Professor Li Wei Dong Ling? So, uh, Professor Ling, you, you perform uh, ablation, you know. Uh, if you know, if you're in, uh, you know, uh, first you just a blushing. Well, I just uh, I know some professor also just make a blushing at the orifice of the venous muscle. It can sometimes turn it to take color. In, in your presentation, there's one, uh, one case you don't perform if you know, if you're in, right? Just make a blushing. Uh, at the old face of the venous of muscle, you terminate that color, right? Yes. Okay. Maybe you uh, sometimes do not have the OTW volume at that time. <laughs> sometimes maybe uh, uh, in, uh, some some doctor can't. Uh, they are not very familiar with the venous injection inside the coronal uh, inside the venous of muscle. Maybe they will choose just to have a try, uh, make a blushing at the old face of the venue of muscle. Maybe uh, if it works, we don't not need to uh, perform any more. It's a, it's also a good idea. Okay. Uh, uh, if there's no question online, uh, Professor, uh, do you have any suggestions about this part? Maybe a lot of time we need to choose a, a more good time because it's very late in China, almost the one o'clock in the evening. Okay. Not good. Okay. Uh, if that's if that's the question, that's the uh, uh, end our this section. This okay. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Okay. Uh, thank you, Pro Professor Ima. Thank you. We don't. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Professor. Uh, okay. Thank you. Let's see you next time. <laughs>